I'm Shu Rayner, and this is the Wednesday Drawing Show. <laughs> Today, we're moving on to stormy weather with our great music video project so many of you are joining in with. I'm going to show you how to draw thunder, rain, and lightning too, and then some weird perspective to blow your house down. But first, let's get started with a bang! Illustrating stormy weather may well require some explosive lettering using words like bang and kaboom. <laughs> to accentuate these words, a hard shadow suggests a bright flash of light. Now, keeping the letters tight together and at jumbled angles gives the feeling of movement and disorder. You can finish off with explosion lines behind the letters and bits of shrapnel flying off in different directions and you can use type to really add a dynamic level to your work. I'll make longer versions of these videos available on my other channel, Draw Stuff Real Easy. Last week I introduced you to composer Chris Womfer of the Clefanotes channel on YouTube. He's written a piece of music for us in three parts expressing different types of weather. Now you've drawn some amazing sunny day videos already and there's still time to watch that show and draw some more. But today we want you to draw scary storm pictures. And here's Chris to talk us through the music. So Chris, now we come to the second part of the music, which is kind of rain into storm. And what, how were you thinking when you wrote that? It was quite interesting because um, I normally have themes running through my head. Um, when I see things, they I kind of have a, an image of what an image. It's kind of weird saying that, but like a, a sound in my head, what I think it should sound like. For example, in this one, the rain storm, it sounds lightheartedness. It goes from the sunny to the light storm and then people think oh you know rain's quite beautiful and it's quite a light sound then all of a sudden to symbolize how quick the weather changes it goes into this heavy brassy storm and storms are known to be quite scary ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the happens. I, I hide under the covers when the lightning comes <laughs> minute, but you all know that now <laughs> but yeah so it kind of goes into this um heavy storm and uh, people are normally scared of thunderstorms. So I thought, you know, scary music, quite intense chording of the music would go alongside it as well. And alongside heavy brass instruments. So, yeah, that's, you know, the rain slash storm area. Great. So um, so we want people to just feel that sort of fearful emotion and draw draw what comes to them. Yeah. Power of nature. I mean, that's yeah. the big brassy and the, the big drums as well in the background. Excellent. Excellent. Well, to get you started thinking up ideas for what you're going to draw and upload to the WednesdayDrawingShow.com, I thought I'd show you how to draw lightning. Lightning is a bit squiggle, squaggle and pointy, really. And only one fork should actually hit the ground and flash. Alternatively, you can get a knitting needle, empty ballpoint pen or a proper scoring tool and emboss the lines in the paper. Then, when you shade over the top, you'll get a great lightning effect. How about some raindrops? They are basically a circle with two curves at the back that meet together. There are many ways to shade them in pencil or pen. You can see these drawings at normal speed on my Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? Well, we have two very interesting postcards this week. One is a postogram, and it's from Rami Ata Atta, uh, who says, thanks for your wonderful lessons. You're a very great artist. <laughs> Greetings, uh, Rami, from Bucharest in Romania. Rami's been watching my video, How to Draw Will Smith as Men in Black, and uh, he's done his version, which I think is really, really good. And uh, he's photographed it and kind of put it on Instagram or postogram or something, which has turned it into a postcard. Uh, and, and it sent it here. Thanks very much. I think that's a really good drawing, Rami. And this is going up on the wall of fame. We're all in Eastern Europe this week. And this is this just arrived a few minutes ago, actually. Uh, hello, Mr. Raider. My name is Julia. I'm from the Ukraine. And I just want to say thank you for your YouTube drawing school. So I like your lessons, especially the flower drawing ones started to learn to draw at 36 years and I so enjoy this process. This picture is a little bit of me and my life. I'm very thankful for your good mood drawing lessons. I wish you all the best. 
Julia from Ukraine. Fabulous. And this is a, another kind of homemade postcard here uh, with drawings that Julia's done. She likes reading, peonies, silence, old cinema, the sea, coffee and sleeping. Zzz. Yes, I like doing that. Well, thank you for those kind words, Julia. And this is going up on the Wall of Fame. Last week, I showed you how to draw simple one-point perspective. This week, let's move the vanishing point to one side of the picture to shake things up a bit and make the drawing a bit more dynamic. Using the lines that radiate out from the vanishing point on the horizon, we can easily construct a 3D looking house that fits into the landscape by using vertical and horizontal lines that intersect the radial lines. Now, what happens if we want to huff and puff and blow that house down in the storm? Well, using my light table, I can add a sheet of paper and use the original drawing as a template. This time, I'll curve the vertical lines and draw the horizontal lines at a more jaunty angle. The lines radiating out from the vanishing point still give us the framework that makes the new bendy house look correct and sitting happily in the landscape. All that's left is to add a strong wind and we have the beginnings of an illustration. Wait a minute, how on earth do you draw wind? Well, I hope that's given you a few ideas. Uh, Chris and I are loving the drawings you're sending in and can't wait to see the drawings you upload in this week's drawing task, which is to draw scary, stormy weather for the second movement of Chris's music video. Now go to Chris's YouTube channel and listen to the second movement of this short piece of music and draw the storminess that the music suggests to you. I suggest you close your eyes and listen to it several times, then get to work on your drawings, which I'll show on the Sunday Gallery Review. Now, if you feel inspired to make an animation, then that would be amazing and upload it and make it a video response to this show. I'll give you uploading instructions at the end of the show. Now, here are live links to the Sunday Gallery Review and the upload page on the WednesdayDrawingShow.com. You might like to follow me on Twitter, Facebook or G+. Here's the link to Chris's Scary Storm video on his channel and links to the longer versions of the videos in this show. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed to the Wednesday Drawing Show. And why not have a look at my nearly daily vlog background and stuff about how this show comes together in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye if you've not uploaded to the wednesday drawing show.com before don't be scared there's a little video at the end showing you how to and we really 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 would love to see your work and we'd love you to join in and be part of this fabulous music video idea go to the wednesdaydrawingshow.com and click upload your drawings on this page you will see an uploader section at the bottom click choose file choose the file that you want and click open to upload your file you'll see the name of your file next to the choose file button now give a description and then click once to upload just wait just click it once and wait and then once you can see your picture everything is done and i will move it into the proper gallery and show it on the sunday gallery review show